Hi everyone, it's your girl July and today I have a really exciting video for you guys because there have been rumors circulating the internet over these last couple of months that Louis Vuitton and Takashi Murakami are going to be doing another collaboration together in 2025. And now the leaked photos have been released into the ether of the internet and I have got a hold of them and I will be sharing them with you guys. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to position myself right here so that I can include photos of the bags and the items that will be released right over here. Let's start off with the bag that I am personally the most excited about, which is the Mini Speedy. And they will be releasing the Mini Speedy in black monogram and the white monogram. From what I've seen, the photos of the monogram are exactly the same. So none of the tones have changed between the early 2000s and now. They are the exact same, but with minor adjustments. The interiors of the bag are now beige instead of red because if you know you know they had issues with bleeding from the glue and the red coloring of the uh, inner lining and now that issue has been resolved and the lining will be a beige microfiber for the white mini speedy. I have not found photos of the interior of the black mini speedy but it will likely be in black that's my guess and uh the black mini speedy is with silver hardware the white mini speedy is with gold hardware inside the bags that will be released there is going to be a leather tab with an inscription embossed on it saying 20 year anniversary celebration louis vuitton X Murakami, which is really, really cute. Some other details about the Mini Speedy is that they have removed the studs. So all the studs that were in the Murakami Louis Vuitton collaboration in the past have been removed to just their regular um, buttons with some additional cute detailing. So the tab that often hangs on Louis Vuitton bags is going to have a bow on it as you can see right here i think that is so cute and honestly i felt like the studs and the multicolor were a little bit too much it was kind of a clash of like punk rock look with like cutesy colorful pastels so I'm happy to see that the studs are sort of not going to be included in the 2025 collection. Let me know in the comments below whether you think that the re-release of the Takashi Murakami Louis Vuitton collab will devalue all the vintage bags that are on the pre-loved market or whether you think the opposite and that the prices for them will actually go up because they have still differences from the current collection because they might have a competitive price. Lucky for us, the person that leaked the photos of the releases for 2025 also included the approximate pricing for them. So the Louis Vuitton Mini Speedy Multicolor will go for approximately 2,700 US dollars. Next, there will be the Multicolor Keepall 50 in the black. They will go for approximately 3,900 US dollars. I've noticed that with the black monogram, uh, most of the bags have a black interior. And with the white monogram, most of the bags have a beige microfiber interior. Then there is the white monogram multicolor key Paul in 45, which will actually be going for a higher price at 5,050. Then there's going to be the unprompt super flat key Paul 45, uh, in black with the panda on it and that will go for 5050 US dollars. There is a design with the iconic Murakami flowers that will be featured in a number of bags including the super flat key ball in 45. The flower design will also be featured on the medium neverfull that will cost 2960 
and the the key ball will be upwards of 3000 USD. Then we have the Monogram Speedy 25 releasing and that will have the little caps, the little gold metal caps on the corners of the bag. The black one will feature silver hardware. I've noticed that all of their black monogram is combined with silver hardware. So some of you might be happy with that. Some of you might be wishing that it was gold just like it was back in the day. It looks like the black monogram speedy is going to cost approximately 4,300. Then there is the Louis Vuitton monogram super flat pochette accessoire that's going to be releasing in January. It has the classic panda design on it, but this time uh, there's the ear kind of sticking out from it, which I think is kind of a cute detail instead of it just being like a flat print. It seems to be um, like a stitched on leather patch on the bag. That will go for 2,100 US dollars. The multicolor key clay will also be releasing. I've only seen photos of the black one, but I can only assume that there will also be a white one. And those will go for 445 US dollars. Louis Vuitton will also be launching a skateboard with the classic brown monogram and uh, a panda on the back and some of the flowers with the LV logo on the front. If anyone is interested in that, that will be going for $2,760. Any collectors out there, you know, keep your eye on it if you're interested. Louis Vuitton will also be launching the Monogram Multicolor Sac Chien Medium in January. That will go for approximately $5,000. There's a pair of sneakers that will be releasing in the black and white monogram. Those will be going for 1,460. I actually love the way that these look. They kind of remind me of uh, Nike Air Force Ones, but they have the beautiful monogram printed all over it. Then there is also passport covers, which will be coming out in three colors. The black monogram that has a black interior, the white monogram that has the hot pink interior. Then of course there's the brown monogram with the panda that also features the hot pink interior. It also looks like they will be releasing a monogram backpack and a fanny pack and a couple of other styles of bags. So if I didn't include any bags that you were hoping that they would release, they still might. Everything that I have found is just what's available to the public. So those are all the releases that I have found so far. If I hear anything else, I will keep you guys posted, but I'm pretty happy with the collections that they will be releasing in 2025. Although I haven't seen the multicolor pochette, which is something that I'm still hoping that they will also include in the 2025 release. I wanna give a huge shout out to MattD74 on Instagram. He's the one that released these early launches for the Louis Vuitton Murakami collection in 2025. And uh, if you guys want to check out his Instagram for yourself, I'll have it in the description below. Over these last few months, I've actually been looking for the mini Speedy in the white monogram. And now I'm a little conflicted. Do I buy a mini Speedy with some slight discoloring for a lower price? Or do I get the brand new mini Speedy that has fixed the issues that they had in the early 2000s release, but I'll be paying a higher premium for it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to let me know whether you think that this re-release will be affecting the vintage pre-loved market negatively or positively. For anyone interested in the Takashi Murakami Louis Vuitton re-release in 2025, there are two things that you will want to know, and that is that one, apparently the pre-orders will be happening on December 2nd. So if you have a 
So if you have an essay, I would reach out to them as soon as possible and let them know that you're interested. If you don't have a sales associate to go to a store near you and find one and let them know that you're interested in pre-orders for the Louis Vuitton Murakami release in 2025. If this video did not feature some of the designs that you love between Louis Vuitton and Takashi Murakami, do not worry because apparently the multicolor monogram will be releasing January 2nd, the cherry blossom designs will be releasing March 2025, and then the cherry series will be releasing in May. So, Keep an eye out for those. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments sections. Please let me know which design you're most excited about, which bags you're most excited about. Are you going to be participating in it or is your collection already full of the vintage? What do you think of the um, studs being pretty much removed from the newer collection? Do you miss them or do you think that that was a good decision and that that design was kind of outdated? In my opinion, I do think that it was outdated and I'm glad that they removed these studs. They're a little bit corny, a little bit, you know, not everything from the 2000s is golden. So right now what I'm going to do is see if I can contact an essay that will allow me to pre-order for the 2025 collection and um yeah we'll see what happens uh would love to know what you guys think and obviously most of us are really excited for this re-release i am just completely ecstatic we really needed this and um yeah if you made it to the end of my video i just want to say thank you so much i do have an instagram if anyone's interested it's at your girl july I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!